Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and welcome to this little video where I show you all my oil paintings I'm working on at the moment. Also, I actually have one oil painting that is completely finished, which I can't wait to show you as well. And I will be doing a little biscuit tier list at the end of this video. I am planning to make videos that don't include tier lists. I was actually going to make a video all about like an Amazon mystery box. I'm doing like an Amazon mystery box unboxing. Um, however, I actually forgot to order the Amazon box, <laughs> so it was kind of like a bit of a problem because obviously that is the main component of an Amazon box unboxing. So I will try to make sure next time I have the actual Amazon box or I might do a completely different video, I don't know. And this is completely finished. Um, I don't know if you can see it again, my chair is very squeaky. Um, and completely changed colour actually because it was a totally different colour when I showed this painting a few weeks ago uh, in its like early stages but it is definitely finished now and it will be on my Etsy in my Etsy store but I do really like um, how it came out I mean I just adore horses and unicorns in art so I should really paint them more often and I really do hope that you like it. Next we have an oil painting which I actually have just started but it's going really well and I've been working on it so hard that it's quite, I would say it's almost finished which is pretty surprising considering it usually takes me forever but here it is. I'm just going to turn it around this way. This is completely wet so there'll be loads of light reflection but this is, <laughs> this is, I think if I hold it back you can see it slightly better. This is a cat on a on a <laughs> there's something just flew in my face. Uh, this is a cat on a magical voyage. In fact, a very treacherous voyage. And it's obviously in a ship and it's battling the extreme elements. And um, I just really like the composition. I kind of just sort of it super quick. I'm not one of those people that actually maps out my paintings early on. I don't generally, I don't do sketches and I generally don't um, like sort of plan them. I have an idea in my head usually and then I think I try to search out references if I need them because obviously I can't paint absolutely everything from my imagination although I am getting there. Some paintings I have painted completely from my imagination if it's a type of character that I know how to paint. Um, but sometimes with cats faces I do try and get a copyright free image for a cat's face just because I need to just get roughly the proportions right. Even though I did have a cat, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get, as I say, the proportions of different cats. They do vary, believe it or not. And so uh, this is going really, really well and I just love painting this treacherous wild sea. So finally, we have a little toad frog. It wouldn't be a video on my channel without a little frog toad situation. Um, and this frog is again, it's quite a, quite early on, <laughs> early on, but I just wanted to create something funny basically, it's something witty. And um, generally I think my paintings are, even though um, some of them I do try and make them more kind of mysterious, but I do really like putting humour in my art because I just, um, I just love comedy and, and creating funny creatures. And this frog, Toad was actually supposed to be holding something and is going to be holding something here um, and I have two ideas in my mind but I haven't quite decided what it's going to be holding um, so we shall see so there are my oil paintings they're going really well too well you know what is not going well my plant <laughs> I just realized before I was filming I was like, this plant is so shameful I'm it's so embarrassing that I actually keep leaving it there because I keep thinking I have to move it and then next time I come on camera it's going to be like looking really good and look like I know how to look after plants which isn't true because I don't know what I'm doing but next time I'm going to try my best I'm going to try my best I'm going to move it and hopefully give it life because that's what I want I want to give it life not give it the possible inevitable death. <laughs> Demise is imminent. Now onto the moment you've all been waiting for or not, depending on which part of the video you enjoy. The thing is, I had absolutely no clue what I was going to do for this video and I thought to myself, yet another tier list. And so I started to look through tiermaker.com, which, <laughs> which is the place where I found the first tier list that I did. Obviously I changed it. Um, 
and I kind of looked through all the tears and there were tears that I didn't even understand, ones about British values. I was like, British values? I don't have any values. So I started to give up. I was close to uh, tears, sort of. <laughs> and then I realised that uh, the first tier list that I ever looked at was about biscuits. And I thought, I know about biscuits because I've eaten many biscuits over the years. And of course, it being a British tier list, one of the most important things to British people um, are biscuits. I'd say tea and biscuits is number one of importance in most of our lives. <laughs> so anyone who denies this is lying. So I thought I would do the ultimate British biscuit tier list. Also, just as a thing, and this is just my opinion, and my opinion means absolutely nothing. So if you disagree with me, then I'm sure you're right, because I don't know anything. <laughs> so uh, the last time I had biscuits was quite some time ago because I don't really eat biscuits anymore. I try to avoid sugar as I mentioned in my other videos but I've tried all of these biscuits because tea is like as I say my number one priority in life so I have tried all of them and tea and biscuits is a, is a very important time of the day. So in the God tier like the tier the best of the best I'm only doing four tiers this time because last time I think I did multiple tiers and I actually confused myself. Um, so, so I'm only doing four. I know it's wrong, but I'm only doing four. So the first one is the God tier. This is the best biscuits ever. So number one, we have the bonbon biscuits. Truly quite a basic biscuit. I know some people find a bonbon biscuit boring and it is ultimately um, chocolate with like a softy, softy, a soft chocolatey filling and then another bonbon biscuit and then they're like sandwiched together. I used to find these so exciting as a child. I used to eat loads of them and I loved the separating of the two biscuits and then just eating one with the stuff inside on, oh it's just, is that just was that just me? I used to break them. Does anyone else do this? And so as a kid they were one of my favourites and they were always around. Um, they quite frequently used to get smashed for some reason. <laughs> you like find them in the back of the cupboard and they'd be like all smashed up. But they are a great biscuit in my humble opinion. And next up we have in the absolute best, Jaffa Cakes. I really like Jaffa Cakes. I can't imagine anyone not liking Jaffa Cakes. Do I, have I ever met anyone who doesn't like them? I don't think so. I've never really asked this question. <laughs> but as far as I can tell, they're not a cake. They are a biscuit, so why are they called cakes? I don't really know. They've got that kind of spongy thing maybe, is that the reason? Um, and then they have the, the orange bit and then the chocolate on top. I think I went to, I actually once auditioned for a Jaffa Cake advert and I didn't get it. <laughs> Obviously, I did not fit the criteria. I'm trying to remember what I had to do in the advert. I think I had to sit somewhere and eat, pretend to eat a java cake and go mmm or something. <laughs> and obviously my mmm was not impressive enough. It obviously wasn't convincing. So evidently I, you know, don't fulfill the requirements of the Jaffa cake people. Um, but <laughs> apart from that, I do really like them. Next in the, oh, what happened to the lighting? I don't know, that was spooky. Um, Next in the God Best tier, we have uh, pink wafers. This is purely here in number one spot for the nostalgic factor because pink wafers just remind me of, um, again, my childhood. I'm not really a nostalgic person. I never really enjoyed my childhood. In fact, I hated most of my childhood, particularly the teenage years. So I don't really look back and think, oh, the old days, I prefer my life certainly now to back then. But um, pink wafers <laughs> always seem like quite an exciting treat. They remind me so much, again, of like a church hall uh, situation. You're in a church hall doing something, whether it be brownies or girl guides or whatever it was, and on the side they would offer you a pink wafer. So quite a low budget <laughs> offering, but still, you know, it's a wafer. I quite like a wafer. Um, because it just it's quite light I guess. Next we have Jammy Dodgers, definitely number one. Jammy Dodgers are so cool. What is inside a Jammy 
dodger it's not it can't really be called cool. it is it is it really jam i just i can't believe it is because jam is really soft whereas inside a jammy dodger it's like chewy and so you find yourself eating jammy dodgers and you're chewing jam and that is really weird that's really strange but it tastes amazing and i actually don't really like jam on toast actually no i do like it i tell a lie i just don't really eat it because it's kind of unhealthy but i do like it um so that's it for the god tier that's it. So next we have the good. So this is the good biscuits. So obviously they are good. Uh, we have a club. Uh, this one is orange, but obviously you can get them in all different shapes and sizes, or rather flavours. They are stay the same size. Uh, I always used to, if I ever got a club in my lunchbox, I would be thrilled. It's so much more exciting than a regular biscuit. <laughs> it feels like you're halfway between biscuit and chocolate and that is like a you know that's that middle middle way you it's almost a chocolate it's almost like as exciting as a chocolate but it's not quite and so a club is an excellent snack biscuit option um next i think these are called peppermint creams i think are they i don't know why i'm asking you it's not like you can see the list um peppermint creams i think that's what they're called uh they come in the silvery green wrappers um i really like them they're again taste like toothpaste but for some reason i seem to like uh, chocolates that taste like toothpaste i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why maybe uh, i don't actually like eating toothpaste like i know some people when they're children they like sort of eat toothpaste well it well i wasn't one of those people okay but i do quite seem to quite like chocolate that tastes like toothpaste is there a reason behind this i don't know Next is the caramel wafer. Again, same as the pink wafer. I put this slightly lower because I remember the ca caramel wafer was quite a lot thicker and um, I just didn't experience it as much as the pink wafer. So not as much nostalgia really. But um, it did always seem exciting at the time and it is a wafer, so very light. Next we have a Garibaldi. I only recently discovered, can you believe this? I've just, just recently found out what a Garibaldi is. And I always wondered and questioned whether the biscuit with the holes in and the raisins, whether that was the Garibaldi, but I never actually knew for sure. And I was always too embarrassed to ask people because when people give you get, when people give you biscuits, you just say, oh, thank you. You don't say, is that a Garibaldi? Because that will seem like you have an issue or that you're ignorant. And evidently, I was highly ignorant for many years on this Im very important fact. So the next thing is a penguin. So once again, I feel like penguins at clubs, they, brought, they bridge that gap between chocolate, no, biscuit and chocolate, and they're in that middle bit. And that is exciting, you know, because it's like, it's almost a chocolate, you know, it's almost there. So definitely in a good, Good section. I do, I do find penguins a little bit sickly though, um, because I've always, I've obviously eaten more than one. Next we have blue ribboned. Again, I think this is like some kind of a wafer situation, chocolate covered wafer. So wafers I like. I think we've come to that conclusion. Wafers are good. Okay, so next we have the average biscuit. Uh, so number one is shortbread. Okay, so I don't come for me on this because shortbread is either, in my opinion, really bad or really amazing. The best shortbread in the world is if you've never tried it. And even if you have a moral hatred of Waitrose, go to Waitrose, <laughs> even if it's just to buy this one thing, because that's what I would do. Just, just go to Waitrose, buy the Dutchy original shortbread. It is round and it is thin and it is, it's like melts. It's that good. It's so, so good. It's amazing. Any other shortbread, I find it tastes like sand, like you're eating crumbly, dry sand at the beach or something. You need like a gallon of water with it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. But the Dutchy original one, no matter what you think of Waitrose, as I say, it's worth it just for that. Next we have um, ginger nuts. <laughs> um, I find these quite average. Uh, they're quite good though if you dip them in tea. So if you dip them in tea they are 
a good biscuit but if you don't have tea you're done for they're so so hard you feel like you're gonna break your teeth off and you chew them forever and they never disappear next we have a nice biscuit um they're just nice really they're nothing amazing they really again remind me of the church hall situation <laughs> being in the church hall as a kid um and possibly you know on a sunday and there being some tea and some nice biscuits so pretty okay for the moment but i wouldn't like run out and get them um then we have custard creams i find them really sickly and too sweet even though they're not bad but um, i actually prefer nice biscuits to the custard creams custard creams just just too sugary and sweetish. Finally, we have the worst of the worst, the worst biscuits in my personal opinion, number one, Oreos. I'm not a fan, I don't like Oreos at all. Again, I find them too sweet and that's really, that's really the only reason. I also found out that I think they have an addictive agent in them, the way M&Ms do, so I kind of avoid them for that reason. But I do understand why people like them, but people also get massively offended if I say I don't like them, so I tend to keep it to myself. So it's probably a mistake, me admitting this. Maybe I'm making a lot of enemies by saying this. Next we have Mr. Kipling's Cakes. Mr. Kipling, this is specifically Mr. Kipling's Viennese Whirls. Um, some of the Mr. Kipling's cakes I think are better than others, but the Viennese Whirls I find to be really sickly. I feel sick just thinking about them. <laughs> and they're too crumbly and dry. Um, next we have Rich Creams, Crunch Creams, um, which tastes a bit like ginger nuts with some kind of like squashy filling. Uh, and just, I find them a bit like custard creams and they're too crunchy and I worry for my dentures. Not that I wear dentures. <laughs> um, next one is um, chocolate fingers. Which, there's something weird about chocolate fingers. They don't taste like proper chocolate. I think they're Cadbury's, and I could be wrong about this, but they don't taste like Cadbury's chocolate. They taste like some sort of weird chocolate, like cheap chocolate. It's not real. It's not real. It's fake chocolate on top of a biscuit and I just, think they taste weird. Um, I have tea cakes, so I believe there's some sort of marshmallow situation covered in chocolate. Um, I've only th I think I've only ever had them once and it just was very squidgy and soft and too much squashiness for my liking, <laughs> a weird texture. Next we have hobnobs and digestives. Okay, so hobnobs and digestives. Okay, forget hobnobs, but digestives, if they're with tea I would give them like number one place if you have a, hot, a digestive with tea it is one of the best biscuits ever but I do think that if you have it without tea it tastes horrible like too dry and yeah and hobnobs is the same so that's it I hope you really like my tier list don't forget to let me know your favorite biscuits and I will see you soon take care guys